Well, good morning to you there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scott Manning coming to you live from Scott Manning Talk. I want to thank all my love viewers for being with me here this morning. I've got some breaking news. The University of Oklahoma and defensive coordinator Mike Stoops have parted ways after Oklahoma gave up 48 points in their loss to Texas in the Red River shootout on Saturday. I got to be honest with you. I have never seen a horrible performance out of the Oklahoma defense like I did on Saturday. To give up 48 in a loss, it was bad. Not to, not to take anything away from Sam Ellinger. Ellinger got the game ball, and he's going to keep that game ball that I gave him on Saturday. But I'm going to be honest with you. This can, the firing, the parting of ways between Mike Stoops and, and of course, the University of Oklahoma just doesn't stem from the loss to Texas on Saturday. Oh, hey, Jeremy, how you doing, man? I haven't seen you in ages, man. How are you? But anyway, let me say this. The, the, the departing of ways between Mike Stoops and the University of Oklahoma doesn't stem from this loss on Saturday to Texas. Go back one week. Baylor put up 33 on the board in the 66-33 victory that Oklahoma had had on, on the Saturday before. Mike Stoops took full responsibility for his defense not showing up on that Saturday. Then all of a sudden I'm thinking, okay, we're going to have a battle. We're going to have a great Red River shootout. No and behold, I didn't think that the Oklahoma defense was going to give up 48 points, but they did. The deep, both defenses were awful. I'm not going to take, I'm not going to deny it. Both defenses were horrible. And not to take anything away from Sam Ellinger. Ellinger gets the game ball. No doubt in my mind. But I'm going to be honest with you. Mike Stoops being removed from the parting ways of the University of Oklahoma, this decision is the best thing for Stoops. But I'm going to tell you, every Oklahoma fan was thinking, what in the world is this guy doing? All of a sudden, they're up, Oklahoma's up, Oklahoma's down 45-24, in the fourth quarter, yes, they came back down 21, and Texas almost blew it. But Texas won the game on a 40-yard field goal. And Sam Ellinger took the game on his shoulders. And I'm not going to deny it, but the Oklahoma defense, all in all, just played flat awful. And here's the thing with Oklahoma. They were only trailed for 1 minute and 39 seconds total before the Red River shootout. Texas shut them down like they were nothing. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. The Red River shootout was a classic, no doubt. But I will say this. The Oklahoma defense played awful. They gave up 48 in the loss. And, the Saturday, and then, then in the Saturday before against Baylor, the defense gave up 33. Mike Stoops took responsibility for that loss. But this loss here, the Oklahoma defense should have played better. Both defenses, the Texas defense, they were bad. But Oklahoma's defense, they were awful. But both defenses were just flat out awful. 93 points, the most in the history of this series. 93 points, the most ever in the history, the most points scored between these two teams in the history of the Red River shootout. But let me tell you something. I was not impressed with either defense. But Sam Ellinger, he played the game of his life. See, I know I kept his notes, and I kept the notes from that game right close by. And I'm glad I did. Let me take a look at him here. Let's see. Sam Ellinger, 24 35, 314 yards, two touchdowns. 19 carries, 72 yards. He had three touchdowns on the ground. He got the game ball. But the Oklahoma defense just played awful. And that's all there is to it. So, with. With the, with the decision that the University of Oklahoma and Mike Stoops made was a very good one. I'm going to tell you why. If Stoops wouldn't have resigned, he would have been fired. Because let me tell you something. Oklahoma is a storied program. Oklahoma is one of the best college football programs in the country. Heisman Trophy winners. National titles. I'm, not, I'm, thinking, I'm wondering what Bob Stoops is thinking right now. The, after before he retired, him and Mike used to work together. I'm thinking, what is in the world is Bob Stoops thinking right now? What in the world is Barry Switzer thinking right now? I have never seen a very bad performance by the Oklahoma defense like I did on that Saturday. It was awful. They played bad. And they gave up 48 points in the loss to Texas on Saturday. 
and Oklahoma dropped from four spots from number seven to number 11, but Texas was the biggest winner of the weekend. They were one of the big winners. They jumped, let me see here, they jumped 10 spots from number 19 to number nine in the AP Top 25 poll. I'll have the rest for the poll for you in the morning, for you tomorrow morning. I will share the rest of it with you because I want to talk about that a little bit more in depth. But I want to stick to this for a few minutes. Bob Stoops, I wonder what he's thinking about. I wonder what he's thinking right now. The former coach of Oklahoma, him and Mike used to work together. Mike was one, Mike Stoops is supposed to be one of the best defensive coordinators in the country. He gave up 33 against Baylor the Saturday before the Red River shootout, and he gave up 48 in the loss on Saturday to Texas. And Oklahoma is supposed to be a story program. I had Oklahoma and West Virginia battling it out for the Big 12 championship. Now, all of a sudden, things have changed big time. You got West Virginia number six, Texas number nine, but Oklahoma's still right there at number 11. In the Big 12, you cannot be putting up 48 points like this in a losing effort. But I'm going to say this. The new defensive coordinator is going to have his hands full to figure out how they're going to figure out this defense. Because the defense that I saw against Baylor and the defense I saw last Saturday against Texas, when they were down by 21 at one point, with about 10 minutes left in the ball game, it was disgusting. I was disgusted. And this is Mike Stoops we're talking about here. And this is the University of Oklahoma National Championship. Heisman Trophy winners. Oklahoma is a storied program in college football. And to see what I saw on Saturday out of the defense was just awful. And that's all I have to say today. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I want to thank you guys for taking the time with me here this morning. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Manny. Very for being with me here this morning. You guys have a great day. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for being with me, and God bless.